It's been a while since I've gone booger picking. Got me a stick. Them ones are way up there. We'll get use out of that big old stick for sure. We got us some lower, closer little boogers. That booger's drying up. There's a dry booger. Yeah, I don't think I can do this and hold the camera. They're so dry, they're falling off my booger picker. Yeah, you got to have two hands because you got to really push and dig in there. There's my icky poo, pine resin, and spruce pitch at the bottom. And here's my setup. This time, I'm going to have my resin raised up from the coals rather than sitting directly on them like the last time. because this time I'll need to spread the coals out and very slowly and carefully warm this up because it's a lot and I don't want to blacken it. I want a nice clear amber resin. I'll be scooping that out and straining it through. Not sure if I'll be able to scoop with these or not. I might, I might not. It's going to be messy transferring over so I've got a pan to catch anything. Got a strainer here. Got an old tin with a hole on it. I'm gonna put all my garbage and pine tins and stuff. Anything that drips out will go into there. And uh, hopefully I can get that clear enough. I can do a second strain. And I have a collection of pine resin and I'd like to transfer the cleanest resin that I can into this. And there's a lot there. I also have a little one for a friend and a skull can which this is plastic I had to be careful not to melt it that's for another friend but that's my setup so far we're gonna do this very gradually and very slowly and I'm sure I'm gonna have to warm up charcoals and replace them because this is gonna take a while I got the coal spread around hopefully it isn't too much By the way, I have the lid in case it catches fire and I need to cover it. I also have a shovel. We have some bubble action going on. We don't want it to bubble too much. We don't want this blackened. Might want to turn it a bit. It's heating up a little faster than I want. We'll move some charcoals. Boy, this stuff has a lot of crap in it. That's some dirty pitch. Some pretty thick chunks in there. We want it all melted evenly. And I don't know what that is. Is that a leaf? Piece of bark? Yeah, it looks like a piece of bark. Just resin that hasn't melted yet. Man, it's going to be a lot of sifting, a lot of straining to get this stuff clean. Slowly getting her done though. There's another chunk. Seems like a piece of bark. Really thinning up now. The thinner we get this, the better. Yeah, I believe that's about as thin as we're going to get it. See how it drips off. 
Yep, yeah, that's pretty thin. Cools off quick though. Yeah, it cools off real quick. Since I'm right-handed, I think I'll switch here. See if we can start scooping up some of this crap. It's a big old chunk of bark right there. Some grass. We're going to go ahead and transfer. Right into there. See if we can scoop up some more. A lot of waiting if you really want it. Looks pretty nice and clear. Not crystal clear, but it's getting there. Gonna have to reheat that, you know. By the way, there's a hole at the bottom of this tin, and underneath is another screen and another tin. Surprise. I'm going to heat up that goopy gook a little bit more. So far that seems to be working slightly. I should have put a charcoal up underneath that. Almost looks like we have a clog. <laughs> should have put a chunk of charcoal under that. See that nice amber color? We're getting there.
It's warm, but it's not hot. Time for some more heat. Just added some fresh coals. We're almost done. And over here, I took the six itty bitty hot coals. We'll go put them right on there. Put it just like that. Oh yeah. Oop, that's working too good. <laughs> Yeah, itty bitty hot coals. Itty bitty very hot coals. We're gonna try to limit that a bit here. Them are a little too hot. There we go. See if that's safe to touch. Set it back on there. There we go. And we're going to set this back on here, but we got to be extra careful because we're getting messy now. It's a little more coals for my liking. There we go. This baby's starting to char a bit. Yeah, once it gets this messy, it starts getting dangerous. So it's about time to finish it up. We're going to pour one last bit. Just need to thin this out one more time. Okay, one last strain. These little coals will come in handy now. All right, here we go. Yeah, there was just too much stuff in this pine resin. Very dirty stuff. Don't have a very good angle on this tin. Angle that just a little bit. Come on. There we go. It's a little better. I really hope that tin underground doesn't isn't getting full of dirt. There's a few little coals underneath are helping a lot, but Gotta have just a little bit. Yep, there's a hole at the bottom of this very tin. There's a hole in the center of the bottom of this tin and a tin buried underneath with another screen and I'm really hoping that tin under there ain't getting full of dirt. I'm not gonna throw this old pitch out. This will be used to coat my fire starters. I think that's about the best we're going to get. Dirty stuff. Alrighty. Let's see how it looks. Is it still dripping? Hey, it's still dripping. All done. We're gonna let that cool down. I think I just did the most important part without the camera on. I took this out. The tin that was under there is pretty much full. We've got a Melt that out of there. 
going to go ahead and set that on there and warm it up. Pour it in our permanent tin. That's way more coals than we want. Set some coals on the edge of the tin. So far it seems to be warming that up a little bit. I'll be able to salvage some. Yeah, it's working. Down the hatch. Let's pull this up before it gets any hotter. Nice. Still dirty, but got enough to fill her. See if I can stop that from pouring without making a mess. Here we go. Didn't quite feel that. <laughs> Put it all in there. There you go, Calvin, brother. I'm putting it in a tin so you can heat it up if you want to, instead of the chalk can. Just for you, brother. In the mail you go. I'm happy with my results. It's almost full. And uh, I'm going to make some fire starters with this. This is an old barbecue grill I've had for decades. It's been an emergency kit in my car for years, but it's getting old and rusty. And I just sold my old car and moved it to my new car. And it's we're going to use it today for the first time. And I've had it for forever. Just unwrapped it. Got my charcoals warming up. Don't need, need too many. Here's the grill. Covered it in foil. I think these are about ready to spread around a bit. There we go. The reason they're all over here on one side is so I have options. There we go. There's my fire starters. This is what I call booger buddies. They're jute twine and fat wood wrapped together. We're going to soak them in pine resin. Got plenty of wax paper. There's my pine resin I've been collecting, nice and clean. We're gonna start it on the hot part first. And as it gets too hot, it starts to boil. We slide it over here out of the way, move it back. not heating up fast enough. See if we can poke some holes in here. Getting thinner. It's 
starting to look ready. Still a little thick. Wondering why I did that? By pouring all the pine resin out onto the wax paper. You can put it in a cool, dry place in front of the air conditioner or even in the freezer. And then uh, I'll show you what I do with it. It's a better way to store your pine resin. Oops, got a booger buddy in there. This booger buddy has a dingleberry. Dingle dingle. Sometimes they're easier to store and use like this if you keep them in a cool dry place. These should last me a long while. I really like using these. Don't have to mess around with starting your campfire hardly at all. Unless you're in the mood Sometimes you're not in the mood for setting up a campfire, building it all fancy, and you just want to get it going and stack up some wood. These are the best, and these really help with weather. When it's a lot of rain or a, a really damp, humid day where it's hard to get a fire going, these come in super handy. What I'm doing is separating them real good kind of breaking off any loose pieces so they go to the bottom of the box and then I will take a gallon ziplock and throw them in there and we'll dump the excess pine dust and they'll go in here for later this stuff keeps for life fresh from the freezer. And 
of course this will make for a great fire starter. I usually don't saturate these completely, but I just thought I'd try. But that's going to be a hell of a mess when I light it. That's going to be for a big ass fire. Because this stuff is going to drip and soak at everything, and it's going to be black and messy. 